Hello, today uh, we have a custom order for a Damascus knife. This is the, the Vein Drop Damascus. And this is the knife design we're going for. This here will be gone after, just a little bit here. And I think I'm going to use this spot right here. We're not going to forge anything on this, we're going to temper it and quench it. But uh, this order needs to be done very fast. There are now two. This we'll use for another project in a later video. Now this piece. And you'll get the burrs off. We also need to put this one on. I'm now going to have a look and see which orientation will be best. See what would look best on a blade. You're not going to see the tang because that's going to be hidden under. It's going to be, um, it's not going to be hidden tang. We're going to use mahogany, I think, the handles. Okay, I have uh, filed it and sanded it and polished the blade here. Still need some more polishing. I didn't think you guys needed to see that, so I just did it. Now we're going to build a large hole here so you can get a lanyard through. Two smaller holes. This thing, which I don't know what it's called. Here's the castle. And then we're going to um, sand this in the edge. Now we're heating up the forge, so we're going to heat up this piece of metal, this Damascus knife that I'm making. I'm going to punch these spots here, with this punch, and then we're going to drill it, if there's anything in the way. Okay, I'm just about going to pull it out now. This is the punch we're going to use, ready here, we're going to use the pitcher hole. The first time working with Damascus like this, so I'm very afraid of it delaminating or something like that. Because this was an expensive fillet. Go for another heat. Let's just straighten it out. Okay, I've now drilled the two holes, I've etched it, uh, where I haven't used uh, sulfuric acid, I've just used vinegar, just normal vinegar, white vinegar, that's to etch it, and then to darken the spots you want dark, I put in really strong coffee. And it, it's come out quite nice, as you can see, hopefully. The vein drop pattern Damascus. Okay, I'm going to use a piece of mahogany. This is fairly light mahogany, not very dark. Uh, in some of my past projects, I use dark stuff. I'm going to use a piece of mahogany for the handles. I'm going to use um, stainless steel pins. I want to get Damascus pins, Damascus steel pins, but I don't have those at the minute and I can't make any. So, I'm going to use stainless steel pins. I'm only going to put two pins in, and for this one we're not going to make a sheath. The customer did not want a sheath. Okay, I've cut out what I'm going to use for the handles. I'm starting to take quite a lot of material up here, which I'll just do with either a hand plane or electric plane. Then I'm going, I'm not going to glue them yet, but I'm going to drill them and pin them to shape it to the right uh, shape roughly. Take the pins off, glue it up, and do the final shaping. I've left quite a bit of extra material up here 
but that's room for mistakes. I'm only going to put two pins in because I don't think it needs another one. And Damascus is really, really hard to drill when you have bad drill bits. Now I've shaved this. Both ends are roughly the same size. Now I'm going to drill them. Make sure. Okay, I've now attached the handles and put the pins in. There's no glue, it's just to hold it there whilst they grind. I'm going to get as close as possible, well, as close as I'm comfortable with. Now I'm going to take a flat disc, one of these, and I'm going to finish the job and then sit there and hand find it for the next three days. Okay, I have used a flat disc to round it out. It still needs shaping this way, but right now I'm just doing this side. Now I'm going to film this side so you guys can see, but I didn't think you guys wanted to see me grind wood for 10 minutes. I have now finished carving the handle, or scales, out of mahogany. I'm going to re go put the edge in this and re-etch it.